when Rafael Nadal brushed Greek starlet Stefanos Tsitsipas aside in the semi-finals of the Australian Open, no one was as animated as his longtime girlfriend, Ziska Perello. In a what was a rare sighting of the King of Clay's sweetheart, she wore her heart in her sleeve, going down with every point against him and rising up in joy every single time things went in his favor. Photo, Getty Images Despite having been part of Nadal's success over the years, Pirello has pretty much shied away from the spotlight, and has been vocal about her lack of desire to embrace the celebrity lifestyle. Photo, Getty Images Very little is known about her, but we sure hope she will grace us with her presence, and an entertaining sideshow when the Spaniard tackles Novak Djokovic in the men's final on Sunday. Ziska Perello pretty much runs the show Ziska Perello attends the final match Rafael Nadal vs. Kenny Shikori during the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters at the Country Club in Monaco on April 22, 2018. Photo by ABACAPRESS, com The King of Clay has a busy schedule, even though he has a few side projects demanding his attention. One such enterprise is the Rafael Nadal Foundation, launched almost a decade ago and is run by none other than Ziska, who serves as its project director. In Ziska isn't even her real name she may be wildly known as Ziska, or sometimes Exisco, but her real name is actually Maria. Her famous moniker is derived from her middle name, Francisco. She studied business administration in London, Melbourne, Australia. January 27, Ziska Perella watches the semi-final match between Rafael Nadal of Spain and Grigor Dimitrov of Bulgaria on day 12 of the 2017 Australian Open at Melbourne Park on January 27, 2017 in Melbourne, Australia. Photo by Clive Brunskill, Getty Images, Ziska worked for Spanish insurance company, Mapfire which had an endorsement deal with Nadal. childhood sweethearts according to The Sun, the couple have been together for over a decade, having started dating in 2005. Rafa and Ziska reportedly knew each other long before they started dating. The reason why she's hardly ever seen well, according to Ziska, if she were to attend his every match, they would stop getting along. The 30-year-old believes that Nadal needs his space when he is competing, and following him around would be detrimental to their relationship. It's not a world I want to be part of, nor do I think Rafa would have chosen to be with a woman who looked for that in life, she said. But she's also not too keen to be around when Rafa might distressing. The Telegraph in 2011, Ziska explained, he needs his space when he is competing, and just the idea of me hanging around and waiting on his needs all day tires me out. It would asphyxiate me. And then he would have to be worrying about me. No. If I followed him everywhere, I think there's a risk we might stop getting along. They met in their hometown a classic case of homeboy falling in love with homegirl. Nadal met Perello in Palma de Mallorca, where both their families still reside to this day. But no little Ziskas or Rafas yet being an elite sports person is tough work. And while many elite athletes, including fellow tennis stars Novak Djokovic and Serena Williams, have started happy families, Nadal isn't quite ready yet. He explained in an interview. I would love to have children, boys, girls. I'm a person who loves kids and I'm a family guy, but also I tell you that the reality is the years keep passing, I would like to start to do all of this when my sporting life determines it, I think it's also above all about looking after the kids, I don't know if it traveling throughout the year and having children is ideal, well, that's something to look forward to in retirement, then. Tags, Australian Open Rafael Nadal